two people. Good evening, Mr. Montoya. Mm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to take the first attendance. I'm used to that because the two hour groups, we take the attendance two times. But in this group, we take one. Okay, Alejandra Beatriz Guzman. Andrea Fabiola Menjiva. Cecilia de Los Angeles, Adrián. Here, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe Enriquez. Present teacher. Edgar Abel Tejada. Present teacher. Okay. Edson Stanley Hernandez. Present teacher. Good evening. Okay. Elvira Lorenza Alvarez. Liliana Maria Los Guerrero. I'm here. Irma Raquel Garcia. 
No le gustan. Present teacher. Joana Yesenia García. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Chávez. Present teacher. Catherine Alejandra Hernández. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present teacher. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Present teacher. Samuel Isaac Flores. Is there any problem with your microphone somewhere? Tania Pamela Montoya. Present teacher. In review, Rafael Alejandro, Catherine Alejandra, Mira Lorenza, Rea Fabiola, Alejandra Beatriz, Tangent. Okay. Okay, last class, uh, we were talking about these different traits and the definition of them. So can you tell me, let, let me ask you, what is, uh, what is the meaning of sociable? Um, Cecilia, can you read the, the meaning of sociable? Celia? Okay. Let me check. Sociable. Um, I have them here. It's a person. It's a person who enjoy uh, being with other people. Okay. This are uh, what is uh, the meaning of intolerant? I, I need a quick answer, people. If you know, tell me. If you don't know, say in, I don't know. In mm -hmm. intolerant is a person who won't accept other people's differences. Okay, thank you. Modest. Uh Edgar. Someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Okay. Edson, temperamental. Temperamental. Um, it's a, a, a person who has unpredictable or irregular mood. Okay, unpredictable or irregular moods. Okay. And Egotistical, Ileana. Egotistical. There, Irma, egotistical. It's someone who doesn't like giving things to people in general. Okay. Joanna, stingy. No, easy going. Sorry, easy going. Easy going. Uh, letter H, a person who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Okay. 
Terence, Tingy, uh, José Daniel, Tingy. Is a person uh, has comparatively or irregular mood? Think so. Also egotistic. I don't think it's the ones. Uh, stingy. Nidia. What? What is a stingy person? Who is a uh, number D? Uh, some who is helpful and foreign? Actually, stingy. Uh, uh -huh, let it be. Someone who doesn't like giving things to people. Things. Egotistical. Uh, let us see. Yeah, someone who expresses a very high opinion of him or herself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, unreliable. Who's next? Uh, Reina, do you know? No? Um, one moment, please. <laughs> I am reading. Um, is someone who doesn't do what he did promise? <laughs> And supportive. Uh, someone who is helpful and encouraging. Okay. Well, I guess you did this yesterday. Anyways. Uh, the idea to review this is because I want you to use these traits or others. To use others to describe a friend of yours. Actually, your best friend, okay? I want you to describe using these uh, adjectives or traits, traits and the uh, relative pronouns, you studied who, basically who, because we are talking about people, yeah, yesterday we studied more, but today we are using who to describe your best friend, okay? Let me show you the example we have in the, in the book. Um, this, my best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. Now, my best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feeling. She's a person who is very supportive and always listens to my problems. Okay? So, I want you to write a short paragraph like this with two or three sentences um, about your best friend. I don't know who you consider your best friend, but I want you to write something about that person. Okay? I will give you five minutes to do it individually and later I will send you to work in groups to talk about your best friend with your partner. Okay? Is that clear? It's clear, it's teacher. Clear. Okay, great. So, Take five minutes to write a short paragraph about your best friend using the pro relative pronouns and the adjectives we, we have in the material or other adjectives. When you finish, you can raise your virtual hand to let me know that you are done.
Okay, two minutes. Finish picture. Okay. Okay, people, uh, I will send you to working groups and I want you to talk about your best friend, okay, with the text you wrote, okay? Okay, join the breakout rooms, please, and talk about your best friends there. Here. I hear I don't, I hear I don't understand. It, it. She's understand and um, attentive. Um, is a person who helps others. Um, always a Ay, no, me, no sé cómo se pronuncia acompañar, algo así. Accompanying, algo así. Accompanying. Who, who is who? Who is a, a work hard, but sometimes he, he gets up late. <laughs> And my friend is someone who is sociable, but
Okay, back. Okay. Well, I wish I had time to hear uh, your paragraph last. Are in a hurry, no? Uh, some volunteers to to read their paragraph about their best friend. Me, teacher. Okay, Joanna. My best friend is someone who has a good sense of humor. He is a person who is joking, but also she is a person who is very respectful. She is very intelligent. Okay. Thank you. One Thank more. You. One more, please. Come on. Don't be shy. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. That's on. Uh, my friend is someone who is sociable, but sometimes he does he doesn't like problematic people. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Only one. One more. Me, teacher. Okay, right now. Um, my best friend is someone who likes to be nice and listening when I need it. She's a understanding and attentive. Um, is a person who helps others. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. We have to continue, people, and continue. I want you to get this survey. Look at this quiz. Uh, let me... Uh, what is this one? Okay. Hmm. Do you get annoyed easily? Do you get annoyed easily? The idea is that you have to check all the things that uh, go with you, okay? That, uh, yeah, all the things that go with you. For example, my case, let me see how many I get. Uh, I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. A classroom in a meeting. Church. I don't like it. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. Uh, I hate it when people talk with their mouth full. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. Close friend. I can't stand it when people talk loudly to each other during a movie. Oh, yes. Yeah. That makes me crazy. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. Depends. I don't have a problem. For work? No, but I don't have a It's not a big deal for me. Uh, I can't stand it when a child screams. Yes. This bothers me a lot. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. And well, no, we are used to that here. Okay, what is my score? One, two, three, four. My score is four. You're fairly easy going. Okay, good for me. Okay, what about you? Take it, please and share your score. Share your score in the chat. Okay, when you finish, share your score in the chat, okay? Write my score. Okay. 
poor. So fairly easy going. Not bad. But easier is poor. Three, four, four. Five people, okay. Four, nine. Wow, we got six. Ooh. You could be intolerant about some things. Four, okay, most of us have four. Tania, six. Oh. <laughs> okay, Edson, four, Irma, four, Erica, four, Media. That's it, people. That's all. Maybe, yes. Yeah. Raina for okay. Interesting, huh? Interesting place. Oh, Johanna, three. Basically the same. Fairly easy going. Okay. Okay, so talking about that, so what gets you annoyed? No, we are going to uh, to to talk about that a little bit using this structure. Yeah, they are called clauses with it plus regular clauses with when. They're complicated. Basically, is this? Look at these sentences. I don't mind it when. People talk loudly during a movie. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. It upsets me when people arrive late for appointments. See this, uh, this structure, okay? You can use these clauses. I don't mind it. Or I don't mind it is, uh, it's not a problem for me. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Can't stand it. Wow. Higher or stronger. It bothers me. It upsets me. Yeah, maybe the only one that is like possible here is this one. I don't mind. It. Uh I, I don't care. I don't mind it is I don't care. I don't have any problem with that. So it's not a problem for me. Yeah. But uh So, and we use these clauses or these phrases with when, when. And then we describe the situation that provokes this reaction, okay, or this feeling in us. Yeah? So let's practice first with this exercise. 
here. How do you feel about these situations? So you have to complete uh, the sentences with eight clauses from the list. So there are some eight clauses. I love it. I can't stand it. It makes me happy. It bothers me. It embarrasses me. It really upsets me. I don't like it. It doesn't bother me. I don't mind it. Okay. So, you can use uh, many times or, or several times the same phrase or the same clause. Okay, so it's not that it is one for each sentence. No. You see, we have nine here and ten sentences here. You can use the same for different situations. Okay? For example, I could say, um, when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes, oh, well, it makes me happy. Maybe. I don't like it. And we are different, right? It makes me happy. I love it. Okay. Usually if it's your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or it makes me happy when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Okay. Oh, so use this eight clauses to complete this sentence. Okay. Take your time. I'm going to give you five minutes to do it, and then we're going to talk.
Okay, I'll send you to working groups again, and I want you to talk about your sentences, okay? Five minutes only. Okay, join your breaker room, please.
Ok. Let's see. Quickly, please. Reina, what about number two? When people are direct and say what's on their mind. I don't mind when people are direct and say what's on their mind. Okay. Good. Yes, to Tania, Pamela, number three. What about this, Tania? I, I don't mind getting someone to call up my interest and the fear of others. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rafael, number four. You. I think Rafael is working. Nidia, number four for you. I love it. It the way that brand is sensitive and supportive. Okay. Okay. Uh, Joanna, number five for you. Uh, it really upset me. Um, uh, people throw trash on the ground. Okay. Good. Uh, Jose Daniel, number six. It made, it made me happy when my friend treat me to dinner. Okay, good. Eliana, number seven. It really upsets me when I get phone calls on Oh no no. Um I love it when I get phone calls on my birthday. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Uh Joanna number eight. I can't um I can't stand it. Uh, stand it. When a stranger asks me for money. Okay. Uh, Edson, number nine. I really ups, upset, upsets me when people call me late at night. Okay. Edgar, number 10. I don't mind when teachers are temperamental. Okay. Uh, Cesar, number one for you. Huh? I can extend it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Okay. Cecilia, number two for you. Uh, number two. Uh, I can stand it when people are direct and say what on their mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, Andrea, number three for you. It doesn't bother me when people correct my English in front of others. Okay. Very good. Any questions so far, people? No? No, teacher. No, teacher.
Okay, well, I can. Okay. Great. Okay, people, let's stop here and we'll continue tomorrow. Have a good night then. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Can I come a bit of fix? Fix. Van a ser más estrictos hoy en día.